Hi, this is Steve. Welcome back to my channel, Scale Model Kit Review. Well, it's finally here, pack 12 of Build the Terminator T800 from Agora Models. Now, in this video will be part one. I'm going to complete stages 111, 112, and 113, and I'll have the entire bottom of the base completed after these uh, stages. So if you haven't done so already, head over to Agora Models and subscribe to this. It's still available and you can start all the way from issue one. Now, without further ado, let's get started. Plasma rifle in the 40 watt range. The Uzi 9 millimeter. I'll be back. Welcome back. I'm super excited to finally get this build completed. I am working on pack 12. The Agora models, the Terminator build, the T800 in half scale. This is a fantastic, mostly metal ectoskeleton and it's going to have a lighted base and all that and we're going to finish up that base in this final pack this is the final pack like i said and i'm going to split up this video in three parts starting off with stage 111 112 and 113. let's go ahead and look at the magazine you can see here we have the table of contents. I'm going to skip over all the build stages. We're going to see those as we go along in this build. First article is the Terminator 2 Judgment Day. He's back. So this is the last of the articles that we get with this build. And these are all very good reads. A lot of information was contained within each one of these magazines and how to terminate real world science right so that's very cool there and that will be it and of course they give us operating instructions for the remote control so that'll be part three that we build that remote control let me go ahead and show you what the parts look like for these three stages stage 111 stage 112 and stage 113. Let me take these out of the box and I'll be right back. Stage 111 are two more of those spotlights. Stage 112 is again a section of the base. And stage 113 is the last section of the base. Let's look at the build instructions for stage 111. Stage 111, I build the pair of LED searchlights. And here's all the parts that came with this stage. And we identify the lights between the blue and the red lights. Red light will have a little red dot in the middle of it. We're going to mark that light so we know which is which because it matters on the base how you want to position them. And of course we're going to assemble this again just like we did before in the previous stages. That's what that looks like there. And there. And there. Right there. there and that. Let me get the parts. I'll be right back. Here's the parts for stage 111. I'll take this out and we'll get a closer look. Here's a close-up of those parts. These parts are all plastic. Of course these are the searchlight parts here with the lenses, the two LEDs, and the screws. Let me give you a close-up of the LEDs. And here's a close-up of those LEDs right here. And Part number 111-1 has the red dot in the middle, and that's this one right here on the right. And of course, part number 111-2 does not. It's clear in the middle. 
So the red dotted one is the red light. Let's get started. Okay, we'll take the binding off. And this is the 111-1, the red dotted one. So they want us to mark it. And I'm going to do that. I'm going to go ahead and put some tape on the end. So that will tell me this is the red light. Just like that. Bring over the base here. I'm going to assemble that on the back of the base. I'm going to lay it flat down. We're going to take the wires. We're going to move them back like this. I'm going to feed that wire through the other side of the base, through the middle. All the way through to where it kind of lines up with our screws a certain way. Just like that. 4 PB 2x4 screws go into this. You don't want to tighten it down too tight because it could strip just till it's snug. Very good. And that's how that all looks there. Next to bring over the lens, we're going to push that down on the top. No glue required. That looks good there. And we're going to bring over our base here. And we're going to feed the wire through it. All the way to the light module. And next I'm going to go ahead and drop a nut in on the back side there. Hold that in place, and we're going to feed a PM 2x10 screw into this. And not too tight, so it can still rotate. That looks good there. And we are done with that spotlight. I'm going to go ahead and assemble the other spotlight, and I will be right back. And here's the other spotlight on my left side. Looks great. And both spotlights together. Remember that the red spotlight, not only is it marked with tape, but it is the longer wire than the, the other spotlight because it has a shorter wire. That completes stage 111. Let's head over and get started on stage 112. Let's look at the build instructions for stage 112. For stage 112, I continue in building the base and add detailing. Here's all the parts there. And a list of parts down below. And here's the build instruction. Right away they give us an expert tip on how to use uh, bulldog clips to hold everything together while we glue on that little bracket. I'm going to put in four screws into that bracket and then start adding some of the detailing. Start gluing in the detailing. Some I, I may leave off. Just all depends, like the spring and all that. I'll probably just leave that off. And more detail parts. Put a searchlight in. And that's what that looks like. Let me get the parts and I'll be right back. Here's the parts out of that brown box. I'll take these out, we'll get a closer look. And here's those parts. And of course, the base piece here, made of plastic, very nice. And we received a lower jaw. And it's got a little weight to it, very nice. A spine, same thing, has some weight to it. It is plastic. Very cool. 
a rock. And the mounting bracket for the base made of metal and the screws. Let's go ahead and get started. And brought over the base that we've already assembled in the previous pack. We're going to go ahead and install the base we just received onto this. And it's simply just going to go down just like that. Just need to turn this over and put that mount bracket on it. Just like that. Go ahead and put some bulldog clips onto this to hold things together. And another one right there. Just like that. Four PWB two by four millimeter screws go into this. That's good there. Take the clip off. And if you wanted, you could also glue this down, which I'm going to do a little bit later. And that's what that looks like, and it really does need some glue on here, which I'm going to put on there in a little bit. Next, we need to put our jaw in place, and it's going to go down just like that. I'm going to go ahead and super glue it with some Beast Bond. It's a super thick super glue. Just like that. And that's what that looks like there. Next, I'm going to go ahead and put the spine into these, this slot right here. Next, we're going to go ahead and put this vertebrae on. And it doesn't go straight down. It's actually going to go just like that. You can see these vertebrae will line up with these holes here into those slots. So we'll put some super glue on those. And just like that, straight down. Straight down on there. And we'll let that dry. Next, I'm going to go ahead and take my searchlight. And this is the clear one, not the red one. The red one will go in in the next stage. And we'll insert this. And we'll lock that in place. Perfect. Looks good. And that rock actually goes right here by the spotlight and the spine. That's how that looks there. And that completes stage 112, where we installed another searchlight, another base section, and some bits and pieces onto this. Let's head over and do the final stage for this video. Stage 1, 13. Let's look at the build instructions for Stage 1, 13. 
Stage 113, I add another base section, which is the last section for the base, along with some other details. And there's the parts. There's a listing of the pieces. And I'm going to attach this section, much like the other section, adding those brackets. This time we have two brackets to install, I believe. Looks good there. Adding some more details to the base. Looking good there. And the spring I'll probably leave off until last. Add the last searchlight. Here's the parts for stage 113. I'll take these out for a bit of closer look. Here's a close up of those parts, and this is the last section of the base made of plastic. That's what that all looks like. Looks great. Some details to go on the base. Looks like another rock. Piece of metal hardware, but it's plastic. It looks all rusty. Two more springs and another plastic piece here. Looks like a rusted part. Two attachment brackets for the base and more screws. Let's get started. We'll take the base part here and we're just going to insert it right on top just like a puzzle. That looks great there. I'm going to go ahead and turn it over, clamp it, and screw it down. Gonna put a bracket in right there and a bracket over here by this clamp. Let's do the bracket over here first. Alright, so we go ahead and put the metal brace in. And uh, I did take a break and I did glue the base together. And I, my glue that I used, it's not actually glue. And I'll show you it here in a second, but it's called Magic Smooth. And it hardens like a rock, but it's great to use in this application to glue these base pieces together. Okay, four screws go into this. four PWB 2x4 millimeter screws and you can see it has a flange on it. Now we'll go over to the other side and put the bracket on the other side. Move this clamp out of the way. Once again four PWB 2x4 millimeter screws go into this. Put our bracket on. And that's good there. Go ahead and turn this over. And there it is. Let's go ahead and glue the, the bits onto this. First I'll go ahead and put the light. I'm going to go ahead and put the spotlight in. And this is the one with the red light. It has the longer cord. I'm going to feed that through. And it's going to get mounted in there in a second.
There we go. That works there. That looks good. What I used to glue the four halves together on the base is this right here. Magic Smooth. It's a two-part system and it dries very hard. And it's uh, also cleanable uh, while it's wet with water. I'm going to go ahead and glue on the detail bits with my Bear Bond Super Glue Gel. Real thick super glue here. That's good there. Real thick stuff here. Real thick gel. And that's simply going to go down just like that. Put a bunch of glue around that. And straight down. That looks good. And as for the springs, I'm going to put those on a little later, so I'm going to leave those off. And that's all I do for stage 113. That looks great. I'm going to go ahead and let these dry. And this was the final stage for this video, so stay tuned for part two. Don't forget to head over to Agora Models and subscribe to this T800 today. It's a fantastic build and it's going to look very impressive. If you like my content, please subscribe to my channel. Give me a thumbs up and happy modeling everybody.